Looks like our government is getting us uh, pretty upset and concerned about the uh, swine flu. This is interesting to me, not only for political reasons, but also as a physician. It makes me think back to 1976, the first year I served in the Congress, we had a vote on the swine flu. Back then, uh, there was a panic, and they said it was going to sweep the nation, and they rapidly came up with some flu shots, and uh, the government was going to inoculate everybody and save the world from this disaster. And I remember there were two votes against it, uh, myself and Larry McDonald, another physician. Uh, it turned out, though, that uh, our instincts were correct. Not only did we object to it because we didn't think the government should be in the medical business and making these medical decisions, but it turned out that the instincts were absolutely right because uh, the flu came and the flu went and one person died, except for those individuals who died from getting the flu vaccine. And over 25 people died uh, just from getting the vaccine, and many got ill from it, until finally they had to suspend the whole program. But here we are once again, the swine flu coming up, and everybody's panicking. And this is not to downplay the seriousness. Some people have died, some people might uh, die yet. Uh, we have had no deaths in this country, uh, but there are seven or eight cases up in New York. None have even been hospitalized. And uh, yet, it's practically like uh, we've been attacked by nuclear weapons. I mean, press conference over the weekend, prime uh, item for the Department of Homeland Security. Now, how did the Department of Homeland Security get into the medical business? You know, it just is totally, totally out of, out of control on what they think uh, we, we should do. But, but, you know, trying to put this in a perspective, I checked to find out how many cases of tuberculosis we had last year. We had about 13,000 cases of tuberculosis. Now, that's a serious disease. And also, the last time they recorded the number of deaths in this country was in, in 06, and there were 644 deaths from tuberculosis. Now, I hate to even bring that subject up to try to put this in a proper perspective, because maybe tomorrow they're going to quarantine everybody in the world uh, uh, coming into this country to watch out for tuberculosis. And uh, all these things are very serious. The big question is, does uh, a bigger government always solve these problems? They usually make things much worse. So all I'm asking people to do is step back and think for a minute rather than rushing and panicking and taking, taking advantage of opportunities like this. Uh, this is what happens whether they're economic problems or medical problems. Uh, the people who love big government take advantage of this. And in the Department of Homeland Security, she's really not acting outside the prerogatives of that, that uh, department. And one of the reasons I voted against it, it's, it's an open door invitation to deal with medical problems. And uh, of course, the way I see medical care in this country is deteriorating and the costs are skyrocketing, mainly because we have had central economic planning in medicine now for 30 some years. It hasn't worked very well, so now we're about to embark on socialized medicine. But uh, I, I just don't think that uh, we need the government uh, in this manner dealing with this problem in a hysterical manner. We ought to just sit back and think about it for a minute, and maybe we'll come to our senses. But certainly, it isn't a responsibility of the Department of Homeland Security, uh, even though technically they might have the authority. Uh, that, to me, is uh, not something that uh, should be turned over to, to that department, that is, uh, the medical care of this country.